In middle school, there were signs out that said, Guam, statehood, Guam, independence. And I think that was the last time we had a big push when it came to decolonization. So now that it's back and hearing actual discussion about it and hearing it heard not just in the college forums and professional forums, but even in the high school forums, um, I'm really glad to see that. And I think that it will definitely go forward. And as everybody has already said, it's important that we do provide the education, the independence task force definitely is at the forefront, providing information online with stickers, with brochures. And I think we do need more information on the other two. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure most people here, or most people on island think there's only two options at this point because they don't hear a lot about the third. But I think when it comes to education, it doesn't just start with, oh, what, what does independence have to offer right now? What does statehood have to offer right now? What does free association have to offer Guam now? We need to look in the long term. And while we are presented with different countries that have done independence, my worry is Guam is not any country. Guam is not any area. Guam is different. We talk about it all the time from culture, just from what we have with our export-import situation. So I think part of the education that we need is to look at how we will be affected in the future. If we do independence 10 years down the line, 20 years down the line, where will Guam be at? Will Guam be at a good place? Will Guam be at the place we envision it to be? Same for statehood. 10 years, 20 years. Is this what we expected from statehood? And I think sometimes that's left out of the discussion. We're so caught up with the right now. And this, this vote will make our future. It'll make our island's future. It'll make our future. This is going to affect the new generation tremendously, our generation. So I think that's something I want to look at, education-wise. I do want to make sure that there is some discussion of the future, not just what we have right in front of us, not what other people did, not what other countries did, but what will Guam do and how will Guam do it in the future.